Hello, everyone. Hello, and welcome to another episode of our YouTube channel where we are trying to fix BMWs that are broken. Or yes, never, so ne ne never good ones. <laughs> <laughs> we have 330i BMW with automatic transmission mm -hmm. or maybe manual, who knows? Yeah, <laughs> things change. <laughs> things change, yes. So, what's the story behind this? Two days ago, I came to the workshop. We had to do something else. But David and Shimon, they told me that we should go and see this one BMW that was on sale on the local car market. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good engine, good mileage, good looking car in the pictures. 2,000 euros was the asking price for this BMW. Day after, we came to the workshop excited excited about this car yes <laughs> we couldn't get any trailers for rent so we decided just to tow it yes tow with the rope it. yeah and uh we packed everything we could to the van or anything that we yes we took toolbox we took uh compressor which was actually a good idea because the tires were flat yes uh we took the mobile lifter. lifter. Diagnostic computer. Mm -hmm. Which we didn't use. Yeah. Even though the check engine light was on. Uh, but who cares? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we packed up our van with all sorts of goodies from the workshop and started to drive to Tampere. Mm -hmm. So we are on the highway now. Heading to the uh, Tampere from Avelina. Yeah. It's about 70, 80 kilometers mm. drive. So it's gonna take at least two hours to get it get it back. One hour there and two hours back. Yes, but it will be a lot of fun, I guess. Yeah, we hope so. Yes, we had some situation on the road. Mm -hmm. What happened to your at, car? At some point, something started, you know, making noise in the back of the mm -hmm. car and I was like, oh, fuck, maybe it's flat tire or something, blow tire, and mm -hmm. let's go to the back side of the road to check it. There was some trim hanging because the wind blow, yeah. just just <laughs> rip it, it off. off. Yeah. yeah, I tried to fix it running properly. We show you because he's I'm excited with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> But in the end, I just told you, just yeah, I took it off, took it off, drop it to the car, yeah. yeah. So, once we got there on site, the guys started to unload the van and put all of their tools into the driving way mm -hmm. next to the car and uh, started inspecting it. Yes, the uh, priority was to start the car. Uh, the battery was empty, so we took our battery, we swapped the batteries. I took the key from the owner mm -hmm. and it starts. It started perfectly. perfectly, yes, smooth, running, nice idle and terrible noise from <laughs> under the car. <laughs> yeah, it was sounding horrible. <laughs> Sounds good. No, it doesn't. That was ironic. Yes, uh, we didn't know in the beginning what's, what's going on. We will see it after we remove the transmission. Yeah. Yes. So at that point, I knew that we would take it. <laughs> <laughs> even that for was the moment. Yes, that was the moment that I knew that we would take it, even for that 2000, if he won't negotiate. Ask him often how much he was there. 2000? No. Let's see what's uh, going on, on the, under the car. What are you trying to do? Top secret. Oh. Left the wrong block. No, it's no, no, no power. So no power tools then. 
manpower. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, Ronnie, mm -hmm. crank the fucking engine. Stop it! Stop it! Yes. <laughs> so now, what do you think? We make the deal. Pretty good one. Yes. Uh, but you've been ready to pay 700. No, not that much. So basically we got the car for how much we wanted to do. Yeah. 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 What do you think, Rodi? What do I think? Yes. And what I'm thinking about it, it's... it's For this money, it's... It's, 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 it's pretty dirty with low mileage. Yeah, yeah. Even though it looks a bit rough, but yes, that's, it's, it's, it's everything it's, that we can we can of manage. Course, of course, it's amazing. Yeah, we we got the car pretty cheap. I like the part when when you were already already offered him one thousand and four hundred, and then the Jim was like one thousand and two hundred. That's the maximum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we play well. Yes, that was good. We start uh, packing everything uh, for real, <laughs> then, yeah. and uh, uh, I set up the car on the front. We put the rope mm -hmm. on the car, and we start towing it. Yeah, I was a bit skeptical. <laughs> Polish style. Polish style. Skeptical yeah. of this. Yeah, I, I no fears for me because mm. uh, we, I, I I have a pretty good experience with that. Yeah. Yes, my once back in the time, twelve years ago, about uh, my dad towed me back uh, from Norway. Norway to where? Yes, to Poland. <laughs> Thousand five hundred kilometers you know, on that on the tow, <laughs> then ferry on the road. You know, we had to go through the Baltic. Uh, oh, fuck's <clears throat> Yeah, and uh, I knew that I can do that. <laughs> this was nothing. Yes, yes, I can be towing on the road. <laughs> yes. That's insane. Yes, and uh, Shimon was also in good cooperation with me because mm -hmm. at some point when we were towing, uh, Ronnie completely forgot that we have the car on the yeah, rope. Yeah. For real. <laughs> so, so it was very smooth. Yeah. No problems at all. Of course, we stopped by a couple of times to leak out and mm -hmm. to talk a little bit about, ah, to get excited about the car. <laughs> yeah, what we're going to do for it. Then. Yes, it was any time like, ah, oh, wow, 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 wow <laughs> so great. Yeah, yeah I couldn't five, believe five, it. We really five, got this. Yes, that was, that was awesome. Good, good, that was awesome. good deal, good deal. And then we got here to the parking yard. We got excited again. <laughs> <laughs> Lot of excitement. <laughs> yes. So what do we have? We have a list of things that we have to yes. take care of. Um, this is a basic version, but probably it has the uh, M Sport, M Technics uh, suspension on it. Yeah, it feels like it's, it's lower. It's lower. Yes. Um, at least when we were lifting the car back in the dumper, uh, I, I spot that there is pinch stain yeah. shocks in the back. We have leather seats. We have sunroof. It's cool because I love sunroofs in the BMW. Yeah. Uh, then we have scratched bumper, pretty much, but we will paint it. Or then get extra ones. Who knows? Who knows? Let's see how the budget goes. Yeah. Uh, then we have boat fenders with corrosion. Mm -hmm. We have we don't have inspection on it, yeah. so, so yes, we have uh, corrosion on the driver's door side. Yes, when you on the boot lid we have rust. Yes, and uh, we have caps missing. Yes, from both pumpers. Yes, 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 yes. Rust under the filling gap. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have this is a new one. <laughs> I've never seen this this one before. Driver's side. Wiper, windscreen wiper, it has a new kind of pattern. Yes, uh, rack instead of the zip tied. Yeah, uh, bandage that you, yeah. you would use for your finger <laughs> to stop the bleeding. You use mm. it for wind. Yeah, wind, so. maybe he thought that it would start, stop raining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's a good one. Then yes. 
we have tape on the steering wheel. Yes, I, I, I can only guess what is under. Yeah. And then on top of all of this, we have uh, door seals that are fucked. Yes, uh, fortunately or fortunately, every E46 has those issue mm -hmm. with the door seals. Yeah. And it's normally nothing, but since it has this heating, heating yes. wire yes. inside yes. of the seals, it's Expensive. Yes. When you're opening the doors, the window is mm -hmm. getting down so you can open the doors. Yeah. So it's um, to avoid the situation that it's stucking, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. freezing, freezing. So yeah, the, the, the ceiling, ceiling are, seals are in the doors uh, heated. Yeah. Cost 300 euro each. Fuck. There goes the profits. Then we have shitty tint. But I believe that uh, Shimon can take care about it and yeah. we'll make smooth. It's gonna look All right. super awesome. Yeah, super awesome. Uh, did we miss something? Probably something that we didn't yet see. Tomorrow we are going to take the car on the lifter and uh, inspect it thoroughly, see what's what, and uh, make a claim game plan. Yes, then we can see it was uh, uh, unlucky or lucky. Yeah, hopefully lucky, but probably not. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> The record uh, that record that because the cost of repayment is maybe fifty euros. So maybe time machine and let's go jump to tomorrow. Yes. So day after we are just about to check our car, what we bought. Uh, this is uh, the real testing day. We have our car on the lifter, so we can inspect it from bumper to bumper. We want to check the technical side. Um, it must be done really, really good because the car is uh, just about uh, to take the inspection. We don't want any surprises, so we do it once, one approach, one shot. We want to make it really good. Uh, there is uh, no room for uh, avoiding something or, or skipping something and we want to make some ultimate restoration experience for you. So let's uh, check the car around from bumper to bumper and list the things we have to fix or replace. Let's start the inspection from the bottom of the car. At the beginning the first thing what I can see here is some minor oil leak. Uh, Looks like it's from just uh, from the oil pan sealing little issue, so we will replace that. Of course, some cleaning all around because the oil has been spilled everywhere through the belts in here. So let's check the belt. Uh, there is some crack. Of course, let's let's replace that as well. Nothing uh, serious. Those rubbers look fine. No, actually there is crack. <laughs> we have to change it. Let's see the other side. If we, we want to exceed our steering rack uh, life, let's go change it. <sighs> let's check the control arm. Here is fine. The bushings not cracked. Let's see, there is one. It's fine. And the other side. The bulger is fine. This is fine. And this is fine as well. So, control arms are pretty good. We don't have to do nothing with that. Uh, let's look at the brakes. Brakes are rusty. We have to replace the brake discs with the brake pads all over the car. Uh, spring looks fine. No leaks from the shock absorber. And, uh -huh. It's ripped. You can see it's, it, it's totally short. Can do anything with that. Have to be replaced both sides. It's working fine. Nothing in here. 
Let's go to the Pagota car. Parking assistance. We have to check if it works. And if it's not, we have to fix it. This is popping out, but I can I can fix it. Missing cup in the front as well. Look what we have found here. Some crispy area. Uh, then uh, some, you can peel the tail lights. We want to restore them as well. Same, same situation here. So we remove rest of the lacquer, stays here and we, we paint them. Registration plate reveal. Doesn't say anything to me. All right, so let's check the back of the car. I don't see really nothing that should indicate something bad here. What we have to check in here, uh, very often you can see that those two bushings are shot in here. I think that nobody just pulled this car hard because those really can crack. Beach ten shocks on both sides. That's a little bit suggesting me that this is a little bit version that I told at the beginning. Cardam looks like goddamn new. The bearing is good. No rust. Such a good car, really. Do we have to sell it? As you can see, we took already the uh, transmission out. Na kurwa 200% hatsze. O! Kurwa o butelkę kurwa. Ja, ja. Sąsa. No pierdolisz. Perfect. Aha. So we're fucked for the day or? Yes. No! It's in the block of the engine. God damn it! Two professionals at work. Amazing. No chaczy kurwa i pana mać, no chaczy, no co by miał nie chaczyć kurwa. This is not looking good. <laughs> It's not for you. <laughs> One day he will laugh for it. <laughs> not today, not today though. Our first predictions were that uh, transmission is fucked up. We have broken not the converter, not transmission, but the flywheel. Flywheel and the mounting points where is the torque converter mounted to the flywheel. They are ripped. But the question is, what caused it? Was it some transmission failure? Or something else? Or just uh, being old and thin? Maybe the guy was pulling the car too much. I don't know. Let's check it. In the video, the car was making uh, so much noise from here on the idle. Uh, we thought that it may be transmission issue or torque converter, but it was really something way cheaper. I gotta show you what was that. Come. It should look something like that. Of course, <clears throat> this wheel and this rectangle, those are separate parts uh, that you can buy in the service. There is missing something. There is no any more places when you can tie it. So that was spinning inside. Oh, it's broken from there. Yeah, now I see. Should I try to understand how the fuck it's happened? Mm-hmm.
this is our connection between engine, uh, actually the crankshaft, and uh, torque converter in transmission. That couldn't work. So maybe the best 1500 euros we ever spent? Yes. <laughs> I think so. We have to drop transmission and spin the uh, torque converter inside. Let's take it without Shimon and let's go fuck. <laughs> so? Oh! Did you hear? <laughs> I hear, but I don't understand. Just a bit So, kurwa, to jest mój śrubok and the Not possible to open. <laughs> cost <laughs> the cost rising <laughs> this good yeah, all right all right all right all right uh we are taking the mm, car that's my tra -la -la. <laughs> my ding ding dong Some pattern with the glue. Not like even. If you take good trust, never revive the culture. So, to kurwa za pattern. What? What is that pattern? Is? Story about that is that a uh, couple bolts disconnecting and it's out. So far, so good. Another day, a different haircut. Special greetings for my barber. But we are not here to talk about my barber. We are here to talk about this car. Uh, we will remove the bumper, front and the rear one. <sighs> then we have to fix uh, those clips. Actually, not fix, replace those because those are broken. And so it will be not flappy, 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 flap. And more tints. I will remove the tints with the heat gun so no uh, glue on the glass after it. By the way, uh, Shimon is uh, going to put uh, new tints on this car. Uh, if you need tinting, summer is coming. Shimon can help you. Dr. Blackglass. Google it. Dr. Blackglass Havelina. Shimon, say hello. 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 You, you had good sleep? Very good. Very good? <laughs> Very short. <laughs> now you will have good, good waking up. It's six in the morning. Yesterday I washed the car, so at this moment it looks goddamn good. How do you like it? You are wondering what's that Mercedes we are channel about BMW. BMW. Ah, <sighs> one night I will rebudget. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's start from something. Uh, I'm coming. Where is Johnny? Sounds good. All right. Whee. Wow. It's so good looking here. Wow. Wow. I was zero rust. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fuck. Guess what? Long ones. No, we have only five. No vitu perkele satana. All right. Fixed. Be ready for the drop.
Very good job. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. Hello, everyone. This is Simon. Hello, David. Hello. Uh, Simon will show you today uh, how to tint the car. Can you say something about that? Is it difficult or it's easy car to tint? I think it's very easy. All right. One more time? Yeah. Maybe we tint something? One more time? <laughs> Done? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ronnie and David from the future, giving you important mm -hmm. information. Yeah, so this is a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> Done? <laughs> Action. Action? Yes, what's happening here? Why um, we are here? Why we are talking to the people now? No. Don't you know? Yeah, this is us, us from the future, you we know? We finished just this episode that you have just seen. Yeah, it was the first part of the video that was originally meant to be one long video. But we had some problems with the transmission stuff, so... Yeah, it was too long. Yeah, we had to cut I, it short. I believe that you weren't watching two hours videos. <laughs> Probably not. Yes, so we shorten and we, instead of one episode, we'll do at least three. At least four. three, yeah, something like this. So stay tuned for more and more is coming uh, weekly, you promise. Yes. So week by week we will uh, release uh, new videos. Yeah, of the E46. Of the E46. Yeah. Then we have some little vacation break. Yes. Probably, yes. <laughs> okay. So, wh what is coming up in this video? Maybe a little in this? spoiler okay. in the E46. Uh, now we're doing maintenance. And no, 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 not this. The, Which one? The, where we left off, um, just a little, you know, spoiler for the future. Maybe a little spoiler for people. But it will be on the outro. I, I got lost now. You know? Okay, okay. In the upcoming videos, you will see something like this. Hope it's good. Oh, fuck. Oi! Something catch on fire. Deep shit we are. Deep shit. And you will see something like that. And like what? Houston, we have a problem. I know everything now. 
<laughs> You're touching my head with this microphone. You like it? Maybe in the bed. Oi, oi, oi. So stay tuned. Stay tuned, subscribe and like right now.